Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So uh, today I'm going to analyze a State Bank of India. I'm on this website tradingview.com and this is a daily chart of uh, State Bank of India. So yesterday I posted one video on Nifty analysis. I tried to explain demand and supply, the basics of demand and supply. In that I covered State Bank of India as well, but I couldn't cover the entire analysis. So that's why I'm creating a separate video on State Bank of India. So if you see the current market price for State Bank of India is 150.85. Now, first I'll, uh, I'll mark this level, which is the supply zone for State Bank of India, which is 164.90. And the another supply, which I can see is 189. So now there is a very huge chance that it can, it can, you know, uh, fill this gap. There's very huge uh, uh, chance that it can fill this gap. Okay. Uh, now, uh, since the current market price is 150, let me go on to the monthly time frame and see that uh, that if if I mark this uh, demand zone, the demand zone is still intact. Okay. So this stop loss for this demand would be 140, 144, right? 1, 145, 144. But then you can take it to, let's say till 142, because there might be a chances of whipsaw also. You can take it to 141, 142. Okay. And you can take a risk of like, let's say five, six points. And you can expect at least minimum 165. This is from a short term perspective. You can expect first target as 165 and the other target would be 189, right? So this is what I'm looking for. If I draw a Fibonacci from this to this, then the 38.2 comes to around 167 level. So I think that we should, we should touch till 167 level till here, at least till here, right? If you also see, even if I consider, actually there is a resistance at this level, which is 160, because earlier there was a support and now there was a breakdown, right? But still, it feels that it can at least give you this uh, till 167, right? This is one. And the other is uh, till 189. So the main reason that, you know, you can initiate long is uh, because of risk reward ratio which is very much favorable as of now. It's a very long term support on State Bank of India. So we can initiate a long uh, by taking this for you know, five, six rupees of risk. In case, again, if it is falling below this level, we have a very good demand. We have a very good demand at this level, right? At this level, we have a very good demand. And again, we can go long here. Also, if you see, if I draw this boring candle, if you see uh, one red, there was two blue and then red, green, green, green. There was three green candle. It came in the zone. It came in the zone, which was somewhere around like this. It came in the zone and then it gave a bounce. So from 144, from 113, it went on till 350 level, right? Then it may, uh, it created another demand zone uh, somewhere around here, which was the, which is the current level right now. And then it came in the zone. It again made like 370. Now it is once again back to the zone. Good thing is uh, on monthly chart, we still don't have any supply. On monthly chart, we still don't have any supply. There was one supply zone. Let me get rid of all this thing. There was one supply zone which was formed on monthly and that was this level. So if you see, uh, click on boring. Uh, this is green. This is green green and then this is blue green blue and then red red right so it made a low of somewhere around 244 it went back to this level which is 352 it touched the level it touched the level and then from this 352 now it is almost at 150 so this this was a very huge supply on monthly chart so again the way it was supply here it is a demand right so that's the analysis. So I'm expecting a short term target for State Bank of India uh, to be at least somewhere around 165. We can expect 15 points of uh, um, uh, recovery on State Bank of India. And considering that 
I'm expecting Bank Nifty also to go up from this level. In case if uh, State Bank of India manages to close about this level, we may see a short covering also, which can again take back this stock to this level to fill a gap. Now, if you see, even if there is a gap, if you see, even if there is a gap, this green candle, then this is blue, and then there's a huge gap, and then red, red. So it is also a supply zone, right? So first target is 167, and in case, if it is closing below 168 level, it can go back to uh, 190 level. You can always uh, uh, go on to like the lower time frame and see if you have any supply zone. Now, if you see this red, two blue candle, red, red, and then this was like the small candle and there was a fall. So if I, if I see for our chart, let's say boring candle, if I click on it, I'll take this to somewhere around here. And uh, this is my stop loss. Boring candle, red, blue, red, red. If you see, it touched. It came in the zone, it touched 177 and now it is at 150 level. Right? So that's the analysis, friend. I believe it should touch 167. It should touch 190 as well. And uh, uh, considering that it is not breaking the previous low, which is 143, 144 levels. Right? So that's it, uh, friends. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you.